And welcome to the Canadian Women in Ocean Industry Leadership Conference right here in St. John's, Newfoundland, halfway through day two. And I got to tell you, what a conference it's been, what conversations are being had. It's important and it's been very exciting to be a part of it. This is the Diversity in the Blue Economy podcast and we are Gale Force Winds. What a pleasure it is to be in conversation. Allison, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi everyone, um, I'm Alison Kennedy. Uh, I work at the National Research Council of Canada. Uh, specifically, I work here in St. John's at our Ocean, Coastal and River Engineering Research Centre. Um, I'm the engagement lead for research involving um, vessel greening or vessel decarbonization, um, which is a new pillar in our strategic plan. Um, I'm also a researcher myself. Uh, and I worked at NRC uh, at our research center for almost 15 years. And my background is naval architecture. So Allison, you didn't obviously always do this. What was your journey into the ocean sector? Where did this all come from? So um, I, I guess I'll start, you know, from right from the beginning. So I, I'm from Newfoundland. Uh, I'm from outside of St. John's, so about 45 minutes outside, uh, a town called Harbor, Maine. And right from a young age, I was very, you know, I, I grew up with the ocean. Um, I knew the importance of the ocean to people's livelihoods. Uh, and I seen people out in boats every day, some of my relatives fishing. Um, and then as I grew as a teenager, I became heavily involved in um, sea cadets. And through that program, I, I was uh, involved in sailing small vessels. And I eventually taught sailing um, with sea cadets. And it gave me a real love of, of, of the ocean and appreciation for the ocean and all the value that it could bring um, to everyone, not only for, like I just said, livelihoods, but um, every aspect of life, how it can advance and, and help us. Um, so through that, I, when I was thinking about what to do in university, um, my mother uh, was an administrative uh, personnel in the university, and she actually worked in the engineering department and she said to me, you know, I see a lot of engineers that I work with doing great, exciting research. Um, and I know you, you know, you, you love math and science, you should try it. And uh, as a young girl who loved the ocean, I, I read about it and I, I seen that Memorial has a great naval architecture program. So I was like, why not, I'll try it. So that kind of got me in the door to, uh, right. to my, my area and I studied that. Um, and then, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's my start, say. Allison, it's amazing how many people credit their time in the cadet organization to their success. It's really incredible. Jerry and I have been in a lot of conversations with people mm -hmm. that have come through the program. So I'm glad that you acknowledge the cadet program as being a part of your journey. That's fantastic. Tell us a little bit about the National Research Council. Where, where does that fit within the government of Canada? Sure. <clears throat> um, so the National Research Can Council of Canada is Canada's premier research um, organization. Um, it's federally funded and um, we have a mandate to support uh, other government departments and also to support um, just the interests and needs in Canada of Canada itself and to work with uh, SMEs or small companies uh, in Canada to help them prosper. We have uh, an IRAP program, which is an umbrella part of NRC that also does a lot of funding and work with uh, small and medium uh, enterprises in Canada. A lot of good things happening in the ocean sector in Atlantic Canada, in Newfoundland. It must be an exciting time for NRC to be in this conversation. Yes, it, it is. Um, it's, it is an exciting era and, you know, as we see uh, different challenges in, around the ocean environment and applying new science and technology to it. Um, and as we work with different stakeholders and clients that work in uh, ocean sector, um, it, you know, it, it makes the researchers feel very challenged right. and also very excited yes. about the, the work that they're doing to be able to in the future see see the impacts of some of this work um, and how it affects the different clients that we're working with. Yeah, the, uh, there's no doubt about it. The, the key to success uh, really across any sector is when government and industry and academia all work together. The NRC is kind of the gel in a lot of that conversation. Would you agree? 
Um, yeah, we, we certainly have a very good relationship with Memorial University, our local uh, university. Um, myself and a colleague actually co-lead our, uh, it's called the Carla Collaboration Space. Um, and that's a, a, a space within NRC, within our St. John's office, uh, where we host a number of graduate students, where we work together um, uh, with, with the Memorial University supervisors and these students to help enhance the research that we're mm -hmm. working on, to have a more of a collaborative um, relationship with the university and sometimes take the academic st students who have little um, experience, I guess, with industry and try to connect them to, to, to share, share the light of what the research they're doing can actually do, connect them to the clients so that they can see it in a real environment. Right. Uh, Allison, uh, you know, here we are at the uh, Women in, in Oceans Industry uh, Conference. Tell me about the importance of women being in this discussion. Um, this conference has been great. Um, it, it's, it's great to go see people having, you know, experiencing things similar to you did, that you did in your career and um, just, you know, to being aware that um, some of the things that you've experienced are not as unique or not as isolated as, as you think. Um, so yeah, I, I think I'll echo some of the things that we hear the speakers saying in there, but diversity, um, there's been lots of studies that show the value of diversity, mm -hmm. in particular in research, in trying to solve different challenges um, and getting different perspectives on how the solution to that could influence different groups that are involved in the um, in the end product or that might use the end product and, and that kind of diversity in research and in, in finding a solution really helps to deliver a holistic uh, result that um, you know that encompasses the wealth of information from people of diverse backgrounds at different experience levels so that you know the end result is more applicable and has less um, obstacles when it's applied to different groups. Yeah, I love the way you describe it. When you're set, when you're talking about it, I was thinking, I was, we, we need all hands on deck here, right? And everybody can lean into this, uh, which is fantastic. You know, to stay on that ocean theme, <laughs> what's over the horizon for you personally and, and for the NRC in this space? Yeah, um, so I guess uh, maybe I'll give a little bit of a, a background on my, uh, on my work at NRC. So, I, when I graduated Naval Architecture from Mon, I, I did my master's actually uh, with NRC. So I had an NRC co-supervisor and it was great. Um, it was a great way to get in the industry while I was still pursuing my studies. Um, and through that I worked in the area of marine safety a lot. Um, I met, a, I had a, attended a lot of events like this and got introduced to a lot of women in the area um, outside of my workplace, you know, because it's always limited in the workplace how many other women you work with. So I, I, I developed a, a big, strong network of, of women. And when I started, I was a, a primarily a researcher, and then I undertook a, a more of leadership roles mm -hmm. as I evolved. Um, and now I'm in a role that, it, that that's primarily engagement. So I've had a lot of different roles and I've met a lot of different people through it. And um, through that I've also heavily been involved in uh, women in science and engineering uh, and their different programs such as the Summer Student Employment Program, um, which is a great program by the way. I don't know if any of your speakers have talked about it, but um, it's, it's a program that takes young female um, high school students and places them with industry and summer work terms to give them experience and see what it could be like to have a career uh, in, in science and engineering. Um, so uh, I've definitely seen in my workplace more awareness uh, and more programs that are enhancing diversity in the workplace and it's great to see um, and it's great to uh, be at events like this where you see that that's happening everywhere. Right. Well, that's fantastic, and thank you very much for being in the conversation. Thanks for attending uh, the conference and being a part of it, and thank you for your leadership uh, in government in this field. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you very much for having me today. Great.